It's Tuesday the 29th of June. Uh, it's a pretty standard day uh, for Tuesday. Caucuses have been meeting this morning uh, and we will sit from 2 o'clock till 6 o'clock and from 7 o'clock till 10 o'clock. Uh, starting uh, with oral questions to ministers, Barbara Edmonds to the Minister of Finance about the economy, uh, Judith Collins to the Prime Minister about uh, government statements and actions, Glenn Bennett to the Minister of Energy and Resources uh, about decommissioning uh, oil and gas fields, uh, Simon Bridges to the Minister of Justice about hate speech legislation, uh, Julianne Genta to the uh, Minister of Finance uh, about fiscal policy, uh, Angie Warren Clark to the Minister of Social Development uh, about social development and employment policies, uh, David Seymour to the Prime Minister uh, asking about government's policies and statements, uh, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Transport about the Clean Car Program, uh, Rachel Brooking to the Minister of the Environment. Uh, about announcements to do with the resource management system. Chris Bishop to the Minister for COVID Response uh, about how many people have been vaccinated. Uh, Willow Jean Prime to the Minister of Police uh, about organised crime. And Matt Ducey to the Minister of Health about mental health spending. We'll then go on to legislation, the second reading of the Ahuriri Hapu Claim Settlement Bill in the name of Andrew Little. Then committee stages of the Gas Information Disclosure um, uh, Bill in the name of Megan Woods and the Reserve Bank uh, of New Zealand Bill in the name of Grant Robertson. The second reading of the Family Court uh, Legislation Bill in the name of Chris Farfoy. Uh, and then the first reading of the Maritime Powers Bill in the name of the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Uh, that should take us through till about 10 o'clock tonight. See you again tomorrow.